All right, so I was going to install some software on the Windows 95 machine here, but um, the big question is how do I get the software on the Windows 95 machine? So some of you might be thinking, uh, CDs. Well, I do have a massive amount of blank CDs. I don't really want to use any on something that only really is going to be used once. Some might be thinking flash drive. Well, I've never been able to get a flash drive working on Windows 95, even with that flash drive driver. It still didn't work, I don't know why. Maybe this flash drive just uh, sucks with 95, I don't know. So the big question is, how do I get the data transferred? Well, remember from the previous video? Yeah, why don't we just use this router from the previous video, which is already networked uh, my main computer, Windows 95 machine again. With Windows 98, it was pretty straightforward to just get it all set up. But uh, with Windows 95, eh, probably not. So, let's try and get network set up on here. So I'm starting with absolutely no clue on how to do this. Uh, file and print sharing. Somewhere, probably. Wait a minute, is there Ethernet drivers on this computer? Oh no! Well, time to get the Ethernet driver installed. I'm so just, just trying to use my computer. Alright, we're here again. Probably drop that whole folder in there just to be sure. Because setting this whole thing up with all the drives is an absolute pain. We're back in Windows 95. Somewhere in here should be a folder called LAN. Oh, right there. Found it. Says 900 PCI Ethernet adapter. Okay. Yay. See, we haven't crashed yet. This isn't really the Windows 95 machine, it's just the Windows 98 machine for the time being. Because, uh, I don't have a computer for Windows 95 right now. What the hell? Properties. The NDIS WXE device loaders for this device cannot load the device driver. Does this have anything to do with that Windows protection error? So now on my main computer, we ask, is the, uh, computer even visible? So, uh... This is my main computer. This is the Windows 98 machine. This is some random person. Um, and that's my main computer again. What is even happening? This makes me think that someone in my neighborhood has tried to connect to the wireless network that this stupid Wi-Fi router is putting out. So I probably should take the antenna off. I've hindered its wireless capabilities. So I'm gonna reset the uh, router so that all this crap will go away. Can Windows 95 do anything? That's the big question. Well, of course it can't ping because there's no no clients. But um, let's see if I can at least get... So, I did looked up some stuff and apparently it really should just work. So if I go into IP config, there isn't even anything there. So it's not even like... Apparently it's not even like knowing that there's a network card installed, so let's just get rid of those drivers. And the drivers still had the uh, thing there anyway, so I'm guessing it's not working. And that's just gonna mess up anyway, so let's get rid of that. Why does it need the CD to get rid of it? There, it's gone. Oh, how about my closet? And, oh look, what's that? Is that a network card? Yo, whoa, whoa guys, look. So this is probably the most period-correct network card ever. Just look at this box, man. So let's do a crazy unboxing. So you have a driver desk. You have a manual in color. This is a nice manual. It's February 1998. So we're using period-correct hardware here. And there it is. So, I guess you could call this new old stock, but I got this at a thrift store. There we go. It smells like networking equipment. <laughs> you know how routers always have that smell? You know that burning smell? Oh yeah, I could probably ground myself. What the hell? There we go. 
Let's hope the device manager will see this. Look at all the things it supports. There you go. Windows 95. What the hell? I will try this floppy disk. Plug adapter into system. Start normally. Insert driver disk. Fine. Do you remember on Windows 98 this just worked instantly? Did you think it'd actually find it? Look at that. That's it, alright. This... <laughs> it's a good thing this disc still works. Did it crash? No, no. You can't, you can't do this to me. <laughs> so we're back in Windows 95, we got uh, Microsoft Networking login. So something's changed, at least. So of course the old Ethernet adapter is gone, but the new Ethernet adapter is right there. Win IP config. And there it is, the D-Link fast Ethernet adapter. And um Oh wait. The Ethernet cable isn't plugged in. That's uh not in there very well. I should probably put a screw in that. So we didn't get that DHCP error this time, probably because um I actually plugged in the Ethernet cable. It assigns an IP. There it is, 0.100. And this is plugged in as the first plug on the router, which would assign it to 0.100. So, yeah, the, the router recognizes the Windows 95 computer. And there it is, there's my main computer, and that's the Windows 95 machine. There we go. It well, what the hell? Well, uh, whatever, I'm not gonna care too much. So, uh, yeah. So let's see if we can ping something. So let's try pinging my main computer. There we go. There we go. So they're talking to each other. So now one problem that we all face with Windows 95 is that it's kind of difficult to get files onto it. But, uh, with a file share, that should be easy. Network. File and picture. Yes. Okay. What is correction error? Oh, never mind. Ah, there it is. So now we have file sharing enabled. Sharing. Alright, so I just made share. Let's check my main computer. There it is. Desktop. And there's the share. And of course, if you remember the Windows 98 share video, it's gonna do this stupid uh, network credentials thing again. So now we have uh, added the credentials. And there we go, that's the Windows 95 machine. These are all the files on it. That's pretty cool. Windows desktop. And that's my desktop. So let's uh, throw some files on it. It's gonna be insane. Ah, uh, there it is. So yes, yeah, so we have now made it possible to instantly transfer files between a modern computer and a Windows 95 machine. Eventually when we get the actual Windows 95 machine up and running, uh, maybe I could try some Windows 3.1 networking, which would probably be a hundred times more difficult than Windows 95. So, uh, Anyways, it works, and see you later. So now you can have your shares on your desktop and instantly access them. Yeah. That's file copying time. It's going pretty fast, actually. It's like faster than my internet. Okay. So, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.